Hey guys, um, it is December 28th here in Missouri. Sorry, I've got a little bit of sun in my eyes, so I'm gonna try to keep the tree between me and you. So it is December 28th. I'm on my dad's farm in Northern Missouri and I'm out for a hunt today. Hopefully I'll be able to put in a little bit of uh, content for my next uh, video on the ethics of hunting. So uh, stay tuned to the end of the video for that. So stay tuned guys. Well guys, it is about 1.15, 1 1.20 on December 28th. It's a Thursday. We just had snow yesterday. It did not stick. We're supposed to have snow again tonight at like 5.30. So I am hunting on the edge of a bedding area. I'm probably about 200 yards, maybe 150 yards from a bedding area. I've seen two bucks on Tuesday run into this area um, from the, the cornfield that's out here to my left. And so we're set up today trying to catch them coming through. I've got a trail behind me that runs through the, the draw that I'm sitting in. I've got a trail about 10, 15 yards in front of me that leads out to the, to the field. And then there's a couple of trails that are up along this fence row that come out of the bedding area into the field. So what I'm hoping is to catch them coming in this way or going out this way or going out into the field and coming back in this way. I don't have cameras up here. I haven't had cameras up all year. Uh, I only get up to my mom and dad's about once or twice a year uh, to hunt. So I don't really have time to, to scout. I don't have digital cameras or uh, I don't have cell cameras out. Um, although that may be something in the future that I invest in, but regardless, we're up today. It's about 39 degrees, 38 degrees. It's supposed to hit a high of 40 today before it starts dropping. And then it's supposed to start snowing right before dark. So what I'm hoping is that these deers will be up and moving by like two, three o'clock uh, to get some food in before the, uh, the front moves in. So we'll see. Well guys, I told you, stay tuned to the end of the video. And uh, I'm recording this actually um, before I get too deep into hunting today because if the deer do start showing up at 3, 3.30, uh, I'm not going to have time or light to do my video later, so I'm going to record this now. So, I told you in my last video I wanted to share with you some things that um, I would consider ethics or morality of hunting. And some people can call it whatever you want, and I understand not everybody agrees with hunting, and I understand that not everybody is okay with hunting or killing an animal. So as I sit here and speak with you guys today, what I'm, what I'm hoping to share with you a little bit is that when it comes to hunting, there's a lot of things that need to be considered and I, I can't go into everything in one video. So today I'm just going to talk about why, why do you hunt? Um, what's the reason for hunting? And for me, it is a, an opportunity to do a couple of things. The first thing for me, and this might not be the same for you, but that's okay. The thing for me is I like to be outside. Um, I like to enjoy nature. I like to be able to enjoy God's creation. And I like to be able to see uh, what the world is outside of the hustle and bustle of our jobs in the city and everything like that. So for me, uh, a big reason why I hunt is to just have an outlet, uh, to, to be able to enjoy creation as God created it. Um, it's something that I think many times gets forgotten about when it comes to things like hunting, hiking, camping in the outdoors, is that we're out there enjoying what God created for us. The other thing that I use hunting for is for food. Um, my family eats deer. Um, we try to put two or three into the freezer each year for us to be able to use throughout the year. It helps us um, lower costs of food. It helps us have plenty of food for what we need each year. And for us, it's, it's an opportunity for um, some financial benefit. And then there are other people, and I am somewhat fall into this category at times, where I'll pass up on deer because I'm looking for a trophy too. Um, 
I want that nice buck. I want to be able to, to someday say I shot the buck of a lifetime. And so there's three things that I think if you're going to take up hunting or you're considering hunting that I really think that, that you as the individual have to decide. Why am I hunting in the first place? Um, in raising my son to hunt, um, things that I learned from my father, I'm passing along to him. And, and one of those things is, is we don't hunt just to kill. Um, you know, some people may feel that way or think that way, but I don't go out hunting just to kill an animal. Um, and I have taught my son that as well. I have taught him to respect the process of hunting. And in a later video, I'm going to talk to you about respecting the, uh, the tools and the weapons that we use. Um, but today I just want to say that I've taught him why do we go hunting is important. It's not just to kill something, it's to feed our family, it's to enjoy the creation that God has given us, and it's to take care of the creation that God has given us. And so if this resonates with you, if this is something that you've been uh, learning yourself or teaching your children, uh, put a comment down below. Uh, if you would like to talk about or hear me talk about uh, things in relation to hunting and, and why we do hunting or how we do hunting, uh, put it in the comments below and I'll see if I can get to it. So stay tuned to the channel, guys. Hope you guys like what you're seeing. And uh, hopefully, as the uh, season comes closer and closer to the end, I might actually have some action for you. It's been a very slow year. Um, had a couple of quick hunts during rifle season that my son and I got a couple of small deer with, um, but nothing major this year. So I'm hoping that these last couple weeks might change that. So stay tuned.